the venom has already started to digest the rat snake from the inside out. It absorbs the entire snake, bones, scales, everything. He's tired and vulnerable after his big meal and will lay low for almost a week hiding in the leaf litter. The radio tagged female is still on the move. For the eager volunteers, it's a trial by fire, bad weather, treacherous terrain, and one of the densest populations of deadly snakes in the world makes tracking through these forests extremely dangerous. And trouble can come when least expected. Just a few days into the project, they lose the female snake's signal. Nothing, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, spin that thing. Now, guys, we got to get up out of this stream bed. We've got to get up on top and see if we can get that signal. And we need to do it quick, or otherwise we're going to lose this snake. If they don't pick up the signal soon, the king could be gone forever. If following the tagged snakes proves impossible, the project will fail. Desperately, the research team scrambles to high ground, trying to regain the King Cobra's signal. The tracking device implanted in her side broadcasts more than 300 meters, but in some conditions, it can be far less than that. Oh, there it is. You got it. Yeah, it's a long way away, so we're going to have to really move it. They finally locate the signal. But they must still visually locate the animal. There it is. We still got it. There she is. There she is. Back now. Matt marks the area and takes a GPS reading of the location. It's still too early to tell whether the female king is moving in search of a mate or if she's seeking out her old home. As the female king slithers, she secretes pheromones, leaving a potent scent trail along the forest floor. For the eager male who picks up the scent, it's a road map to her affections. Finding her is only the beginning of his trials. Females are often wary of the larger males, and with good reason. He could kill her if she does not accept him. But she could also kill him, so he bumps and nudges her with his nose. An eager flirtation. Eventually, the seduction works, and our female relents. She spreads her hood and raises her head off the ground. Mating can take as long as an hour. If all goes well, in about a month she'll lay some 20 to 40 eggs. The heirs to the throne. Not more than 20 kilometers away, the tagged male wanders back into a betel nut plantation. The snake has climbed high into a tree. King cobras often climb in search of food or simply to bask in the sun. Hmm. 
First, they try cutting down the branches around him. He's going up, he's going up. But he only pushes higher. In the end, they cut the whole tree down. Yeah, 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 it's on the other side. They once again coax him into the bag. Good, easy catch. Wonderful. The tagged male's attraction to humans offers some troubling insights into the snake's behavior. Don't move. No one will move. If he's lost his fear of people, his behavior could be dangerous for serpent and human alike. With populations continuing to grow, finding a safe way to coexist with kings is a priority. Back in the forest, the radio-tagged female king has spent the past two weeks with her mate. When another male wanders into their territory, During the breeding season, when two male snakes collide, everything is on the line. Often mistaken for a mating dance, this display is actually a form of ritualized combat. Unwritten rules govern the duel, and there's no biting allowed. Rising higher than a meter, each tries to pin the other to the ground. With a final non-venomous blow, the contest is ended. The resident male has lost, and he must leave his territory and his mate. And to the winner go the spoils. Like all males this time of year, this snake seems to have only one thing on his mind sex. But our tagged female has already mated and wants only to be left in peace. Unfortunately, she is about to play out a horrifying scene. At first, the new male King Cobra seems to be merely persistent in his courtship and the tagged female playing hard to get. But she's carrying another male's eggs. Is it possible he senses the rival's offspring? For whatever reason, his intentions turn from mating to murder. She is not fully immune to her own kind's venom. And he squeezes her in his vice-like jaws, pumping venom into her bloodstream. But death does not come quickly. He is her physical superior, but she will not surrender.
After more than a half an hour, with every ounce of life left in her, she begins to roll. This death roll might be the final fight for freedom, or simply the final breath of life. But it signifies the end. After 45 minutes, the queen is dead. While the male's true motives for murder are unclear, he is a snake eater, so he begins to swallow her. But he may not have killed her out of hunger. Whether he's just an aggressive male on the rampage, or if some other variable led to a breakdown in the rules of the game, we may never know for sure. But the pregnant queen is too large, and he cannot swallow her. So he regurgitates her lifeless body 